Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a synthetic wig review and the wig that I'm reviewing was sent to me by Renee of Paris which is amazing. They sell some amazing synthetic wigs and I'm going to be reviewing more synthetic wigs on my channel in the next coming videos so if that is something that interests you make sure you subscribe and I'll get on with showing you guys this amazing wig. So the wig came in this box here and when you open it up you get the wig inside and the wig that I am reviewing is called Lavish Waves and it is in the shade Marble Brown and I will pop that on the screen for you guys. So I'm going to read off the specs. This wig is part of the Muse collection from Renee of Paris. The hair length of this wig, I'd say the longest parts of this are about 19 inches but they do have shorter layers cut into the front. The hair texture is wavy but you can use heat on this wig. Um, obviously be careful because it is still a synthetic wig so don't go too high with the heat. The cap size is average and the cap construction is a lace front. I will show you guys a close-up of that and it will also give you a close-up of the colour in the natural light because this wig has some amazing highlights going through it which makes it look amazing as like a summer wig which is probably what I'm going to be using it for. Okay so this is the cap construction for the wig. You have got adjustable straps here in the back. They're not the normal grip ones. You just pull this in here and then pop it down onto the back and it will make the wig smaller. Even though it is an average cap size I will say it fits my head really well and I do have a small head. You've got the ear tabs here which are like a soft velvety feel and then the lace on the top and as you can see when I'm moving my fingers through this it is such a clear lace it's really really realistic and the lace section is just through the middle here but you have got a little bit of room to move the part in if you wanted to. So this clip is just to show you guys the colours going through this wig. As you can see it's got those really pretty blonde highlights through and then the rest of it is a medium brown. So this is the wig just straight out of the box and popped on my head and I've got to say that I'm so impressed with the hairline on this wig. So I'll try and come close. Obviously this has not been glued down, it is still just <laughs> loose, but the lace melts just so well into like your scalp. I can't really explain like what I mean by this, but the lace is different to any other lace wig that I've had. So it's a little bit more firm, which works quite well because it doesn't lift in the front. So the section of lace kind of runs from like here. So these bits are just like the ear tabs and then the front section you've got the lace which means that you definitely could do like pulled back hairstyles in the front which I love. So one thing that I really like about this wig is the fact that it has volume to it. So a lot of the synthetic wigs I've tried in the past have just been straight and quite heavy so they tend to just kind of hang a little bit and that can make them look a bit more fake whereas this is like it's already got the curls in it so you've got the volume but you've also not got like a huge amount of hair to try and manage. This is like a very manageable density but it also doesn't look too thin. I also find that this wig doesn't have that like normal synthetic shine. I hope you guys know what I mean. This could easily pass for human hair in my opinion. It just looks literally the same as some of the human hair wigs that I've had in the past. So I do tend to wear my wigs in the part in that this wig already has, which is a pro because obviously <laughs> I'm used to having my parting on this side but you do have that parting space in the middle so if you did want to shift it over slightly you definitely could. So I was messing around with it earlier this morning and you can also just pull down like two sections here and like I said because this wig isn't super heavy like some synthetics can be 
you can definitely pull this back into a ponytail you just need to pull down some sections on the side but like look how pretty that would be if you were going on holiday or something um you also do obviously have the ear tabs here but you can still tuck it behind your ear you just need to bring some hair forward just to cover like the ear section of the wig but I do love tucking the hair behind my ear if you guys have watched my other videos I do that with all of my wigs so it's nice just to have like the ability to do that as well. But yeah guys that is basically the video for today it's just a quick rundown of this wig and obviously if you're interested the name is Lavish Waves by Rene of Paris and this is the colour Marble Brown. I know that they sell these wigs in some really cool colours, I think they've got purple, blues, greens, so if you wanted to be a bit wild and try something else as well, I actually really love the style of it, so who knows, maybe I'll try a funky colour in the future as well. But I have got lots more synthetic wig reviews coming up, like I said, so make sure you subscribe so that you can see those, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!